up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to Team Shambles, episode number six. In the last episode, which was yesterday, we attempted to rebuild our team. We hit rock bottom. We went down to one Pokemon at one time, uh, and we, res we resulted to fishing to try and catch a, to try and catch a few other Mons. Uh, so if you want to check out that episode, you can, of course, click the I card right at the top, and it'll take you straight to that. Now in today's episode, we're going to do more story stuff. We're going to go talk to Steven Stone, uh, and then we are going to take on Brawly in his gym. So if you're excited for more Pokemon Emerald, go and hit that like button down below. This series is doing exactly what I, would hope it, what I was hoping it would do so far, where all the videos are over 10 views. Let's try and keep it that way all the way through. I think that's a pretty small goal and pretty easy thing to hit. Now, before we jump into our team, uh, let's go and do our team recap first, and then we'll jump into our question of the day. Let me get my Joy-Con strapped on, and here we go. So, team recap, we did, you will have seen a grinding montage, which took a very long time, uh, but I think we're ready. So, uh, let's go ahead, and some of you are going to be happy with what we got. But, we still have Oscar, our Fire-type Sceptile, Naughty Nature with Shell Armor, uh, holding the Quick Claw, which I'm probably going to take the Quick Claw off of him to give it to somebody else. But he's only one experience from going to growing to level 21, which is good because we're going to need him in the gym for sure. Uh, but he has Flame Wheel, Mud Shot, Uproar, and Sacred Fire. Now, the next Mon started off as a Squirtle. As you know, Squirtle evolves at level 16. What did Squirtle evolve into at level 16? Well, we have Godwin... The Psychic Steel Magic Card. He's back. He was only gone for a few episodes, so that's good. And I know some of you will be excited about that. But he has Liquid Ooze ability with Naughty Nature. Um, there are his stats. Still pretty low, but he's only three levels away from evolving. I'm going to try and keep him alive this time. He has Psycho Boost, Bite, Hypnosis, and Hyper Beam. I don't remember what his moveset was before, but Psychic Boost on a Psychic Mon will be very good for it. So hopefully he's around so we can see what he evolves into. And then we have Ale, our Dragon-type Quillfish, Shield Dust ability, Lax Nature, with some pretty good stats, higher stats than at least everybody else. Um, his speed is the lowest. At least so far, his speed is the lowest, so I might think about uh, raising that up. Uh, but he has knockoff, reversal, aromatherapy, and swallow, so we need to replace those last two with something. But Then we have, lastly, Jim, our Ice-type Ghastly, <clears throat> with those stats there. So yeah, God, or, uh, Ale is our slowest, but that's that. And he has Lesser Purge, Frenzy Plant, Mud Shot, and Cut. <clears throat> and there you go. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to give the... I'm going to give this to Godwin. I'm going to give the Quick Claw to Godwin uh, because he's slow. He's only a couple points slower than Ale, but Ale can take more hits. So anyway, that's that. Now, let's go. I knew this guy was going to call me. In the grinding montage, I took out all of the trainers, like I said I was going to do, to the right, uh, or between Rustboro and... Uh, Rust Turf. Rust Turf Tunnel. That's the name of it. But I knew this guy was going to... And they don't give me an option. I have to talk to them. Alright, here we go. Isn't there an... Or I think I picked up the item there. So we do get an encounter in here, which is good. I forgot about that last episode and we wound up ending it. Now I'm going to switch into Godwin. Godwine. I really just want to call him Godwin, but it's Godwine. I have to remember that. Is this a trainer? No. Hey you, it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough to try to explore. The guy who came, Steven, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you for Flash. Unfortunately, I don't need it. <clears throat> Found a light ball. Wait, like the Pikachu light ball? Oh, maybe I want Flash for this. All right, but here's our granite cave encounter. And it's a Crawdont. I'm down. I'm down for a Crawdont. Of course I'm down for a Crawdont. Okay, hold on. My, hold on. My headphones are all twisted and messing with me. All right. 
Uh, let's go for hypnosis to start. You secret power that's not gonna do anything to me. All right, I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit. I, I did just record the grinding montage, so my mind is still in like speed up mode. But Crawdot will be a good addition to the team, and it's a third gen mon, which is exciting. Cause that means it's not something that we've had before. It woke up, tried to use hidden power, it failed. Here goes another hypnosis. You're asleep, and now I request Crawdot that you. Grant us your presence on our team. We could definitely use you. And that's how you start a that's how you start a recording session. In case you're wondering, that's how you start a recording session. Uh hold on, I need to I So like I said, I haven't recorded this game in a while. I'm recording these now in uh threes. Uh wait. I'm recording these in threes. And it's been a few days. So, uh, feminine generated name. Okay, so we have Crawdont the Rogue Pokemon. A brutish Pokemon that loves to battle. A veteran Crawdont that has prevailed in hundreds of battles has giant pincers marked with countless scars. We'll give Crawdont its a nickname, and its nickname <laughs> will be... Uh, I find all of these names funny. But we have Jessica the Crawdont. Who obviously does not evolve. Let's check out Jessica our Crawdont so I can update that layout. We have the normal type Crawdont with Rock Head, which is pretty good. Impish Nature. With those stats there, not bad. Sleep Powder, Stockpile, Secret Powder, Supersonic. Okay, so this could be good. We have, we do have a Silk Scarf. Um, so we might, th this might be good for us. Uh, definitely going to be on the team because we don't really have anything else. But uh, let's go ahead and we're going to continue... I'm trying to decide if I want to do this or if I want to... I mean, there's really like... Isn't there like... There's not a lot... How... How... That's crazy that Makuhita would be in here. And like Makuhita is normally in this cave. Okay, I don't think we need Flash for like... This particular... Wait. Am I already lost? And Machop... Wait, did this section not get randomized? So the ladder is like right over here or something like without yeah i mean this is the oh is this the there's more than one layer okay um <clears throat> oh question of the day i totally forgot you've seen the question of the day uh, over below the game over there but i'm wearing my pikachu libre shirt which is a pokemon tournament shirt shout out to slipping bug but I want to know what your favorite, not regular series, or you could call it spin-off, what your favorite Pokemon spin-off game is. So, uh, you could use Pokken, which you know is mine. You could do Pokemon Coliseum, XD Gale of Darkness, the Mystery Dungeon series. Um, you know, whatever, whatever, anything like that. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Pokemon spin-off game is. And thank you to those of you that comment on every video. It really helps out, and it really... Just encourages me and uh, it's, it's just a great feeling to get comments uh, so thank you for that and let's hope that we can continue uh, I know that the, oh I could have had a Nitto King I fought a Nitto King the grinding montage was nuts all right the grinding montage was some craziness there was some craziness going on now is this where I go up and go down oh but there's an item right here a figgy berry. All right, I don't have any Alolan mucks around, so I don't know what to do about that figgy berry. But hopefully, this isn't too like annoying to watch. <laughs> I could have had a Nidoran. This is, all right. Another. Wait. Okay. All right. Ooh, I could have had a trap inch. There's so many good things here. All right. <clears throat> Steven is like. All right. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me. Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. Let me see. I'll give you this TM. It contains my favorite move, Meteor Mash. I feel like that's normally Steel Wing, but him giving Meteor Mash, like, it's so fitting. Huh. Your Pokemon appear quite capable. If you keep training, you can even become the champion of the Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. I know, since I since we've gotten to know each other, let's register one another in our Pokenab. That sound. That was nuts. Now, I've got to hurry along. 
So you only have to hurry along now that I'm here? That's so rude. He's like... I don't know if I ever knew that was like that. I'm glad I just did that though. All right, here we go. Gym time. Yeah, there's some there's some decent mons in here, but Crawdont, I am okay with it. The only thing that's like the drag down to Crawdont is that it's a normal type. And like my team is already weak enough to dark or to fighting. Um, so kind of hoping to get a, but we do have a something that's not weak to fire now. So go ahead and run up in this gym. How far are we in the episode? 10 minutes? Should be fine. Oh, I see what they did here. They made that little, the cave. So you needed flash and then you come in here and it's like kind of the same type of thing. Don't you dare brush me off. It's not my fault. Oh, I forgot. I don't, these people aren't important. But yeah, as far as like what my favorite Pokemon spinoff is. Okay, these people are actually might be strong. Dragon Rage. All right, I live with one. All right, I live with one. Oh, awesome. Wait a minute, am I? Oh, I have to switch into Oscar and then I just have to go. Oh, Luster. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That was a little scary. <laughs> I was fighting, I was training against some Latios um, in the grinding montage and they had Dragon Rage. And like, I think went for Dragon Rage one time on someone that only had like 41 hit points. Almost panicked because I was holding the speed up button. So I... anyway, um, favorite spinoff game is what we're talking about. Uh, Pokémon is obviously mine uh, being a competitive Pokémon player. Uh, oh, we have a double battle. I did not know that, that we were going to have a double battle. I would have switched. I am nervous. I I'm so nervous about Sacred Fire and I really don't want to die. So let's switch an Ale and let's go for Flame Wheel. Not very effective. Bite wouldn't have been very effective either. He used Hyper Beam. Okay, so I, I should have stayed in. I could have stayed in. Uh, wait. Who did I flamethrower? I don't even remember who I flamed. We're going to speed this up. No, wait, stop. Knock off and mud shot. There we go. There we go. Now my brain is working again. <clears throat> They're actually pretty strong. All right. <clears throat> so, again, I keep getting off topic, as I always do with these questions of the day. That's all right. Um... Pokémon is definitely my favorite. I would say Colosseum is my next favorite, um, which, with that, well, never mind. Um, Colosseum is my next favorite, and then after that would be something like uh, maybe the Mystery Dungeon series. I know they're definitely good games. Uh, I haven't played many of them. I haven't played all of them, I guess is the right thing to say. Uh, we might start doing some of those soon. I don't, I don't exactly know what we're going to be doing in the immediate future, but there could be a new series coming in the next couple days, <laughs> slash couple weeks. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what's up. Um, let me know what your favorite of all of them is. I know there's like Conquest and why do you look like the kind of Mon that has Sacred Fire? I feel like I should be safe and just switch, but what if you have Hydro Pump? You have a horn attack. Hot shot. That did something. That's a good one-two punch from uh, Oscar. Oscar's like, okay, if you're not weak to fire, then you're probably going to go down to this mud shot. Also, I realize I've been speeding up, and now we're already about to take on... Wait. I don't know why I've been speeding up so much. I apologize. I had to speed up a little less. My brain is in just in speed up mode. For the last three days, I haven't really been at home. I haven't been thinking much about gaming. Um, I guess my mind just did. All right, let's go ahead and stop right here. Save, and we are gonna take on Brawly. Now, let's think about this. He has three Mons. Two of them are going to be level 18, I think, and the other will be level 21. Uh, to give or take one or two levels on either side of those, so he's not weak. Um, I think we're going to lead with Ale, because Ale's defense is, I think, 
Ayla has like the highest defenses aside from we're not just going to use our Sceptile in every single battle. But this would be dangerous and this would be dangerous. That's kind of my thinking. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I definitely just thought I saw something crawling on a wall over there, but uh, I all right, let's talk to Brawly. I'm Brawly, Dufridge Gym Leader. I've been churned in the rough ways of these parts, and I've grown tough in the pitch black cave. Do you want to challenge me? Let me see what you're made of. Ah! They make Brawly so much more intense in the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. But Elite Trainer Stacy would like to battle. Starts off with a weak little Spiro. All right, Ale. Uh, Ale, let's go for... You're slow, so let's go for reversal. Oh, you just use Sandstorm. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure. So reversal probably won't do much. It is super effective. Sandstorm rages, so... T and Ice? Well, what type would that be? Oh, well, he didn't get buffed by the Sandstorm. So he's definitely a, uh, a rock type. All right, so we'll go for reversal again. Might as well. We'll just take it. We'll just take out this Spira with reversals. Wait, that's not going to do enough. Uh, let me try knockoff and see if knockoff does a little more. That's crazy. You get a rock type with sandstorm. I guess. I guess that's not too crazy. It's like my septile has a bunch of stab, and now my new magic harp has stab. Ooh, you have a super potion. That sucks. All right, well, that's okay. We will continue to fight on. All right, this is taking a very long time. I really don't want to die. So I'm actually going to use a super potion. And we'll knock off. Oh, gosh. Sandstorm. That's annoying. Oh, you have a banette. And that's your ace. Okay. Does it get hit by Sandstorm? No. Okay. All right. So, it's a rock type. So, should I go for reversal? Let's see how much reversal is going to do. It used Tail Glow. Okay. A scare. It doesn't affect. What? So it's also a ghost type. So it's like rock ghost? Okay, let me think. <clears throat> Alright. Just gonna go for knockoff. Use tail glow again? Oh no, please don't have any special attacks. I got a crit! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Sandstorm, stop! Yes! Ale moves first and knocks out the Bennett. Alright, that was terrifying. <laughs> I have no idea what that thing had. Got to learn Doom Desire. Isn't that the one that, like... Summon strong sunlight to attack two turns later. So it's like a steel version of Future Sight. I guess it's better than Aromatherapy. I guess it's better than that. Alright. And last you have a... I just want to play the game! What is up with all these stupid strong mons? I don't want to switch. I don't know what this Suicune's going to do. Poison Fang. I'm going to... Okay, that's not... That did a lot of damage. Right, I'm going to go for knockoff. Just in case it has an item. It does not have an item. Um, okay, I'm going to super potion. Oh god, that did so much damage. Alright, so I'm going to use reversal. One more super potion should do the job. Oh, you did. You used the super potion as well. Sand attack. Get that garbage. Oh, come on. 
Alright, that reversal lands. I think if we land one more... Well, it needs to hit me first. If it hits me, and then we land this... So, so you're just out here critting. So you're just out here critting me. That's right. We'll fish over Suicune. Ail grows to level 20, and we barely squeak through. That freaking Banette tail glowed twice. And then freaking Suicune? <laughs> Whoa, wow! You made a much bigger splash than I expected. You swamped me. Okay, you got me. Take this gym badge. Crazy. Alright! The Knuckle Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, even those you get in trades obey without question. And you'll be able to use the HM Flash outside of battle. If you'd like, use this technical machine too. Contains Ember, alright. Did he like not have it? That was weird. Does he always do that? Like where he doesn't have anything to say after he gives you the item? I don't know. All right, so now we have, well, I know, I know what we do now. I'm just thinking about if the game told us what we were supposed to do now. Huh. Anyway, so today we, uh, we went and talked to Steven Stone and then we took out Brawly's gym, which could have gone a much different way if that Bennett would have had some type of special move. So I'm glad we were able to defeat that. If you did enjoy today's episode, go and hit that like button down below. We're only seven episodes in and we have two gym badges. So we are flying. We are alive. Our team is doing okay at least. Maybe in the next couple episodes we'll see what Godwine evolves into. And finally, our starter that we picked that you guys helped me choose will be able to... Uh, we'll see what it was going to evolve into and we'll, we'll figure out that mystery. But... Um, tomorrow we will make our way to Slateport City to continue on from there, so make sure you subscribe so you can see that. But until then, have a blessed day.